What is up guys, your host Ghost here. In today's video, we're gonna be taming the Daedon. So in the dungeons, we got some of the implants. We actually got three and we're reviving only one of them. So we're actually taming this Daedon for Omega Boy here. He's gonna be, or I'm gonna actually be helping him out. I got him the implant, but he's reviving it and it's gonna be his. So we made this wooden dinosaur gates around it. It's not that great. We have this hole here so we can shoot it. And let me just tell them we're ready. So yeah, I don't actually have Amber to tame it. That's why he's going to do it. And that's why it's going to be his. Um, where do you go? Oh. Can you come in? Oh, never mind. I think he was just, yeah, he was just chatting. Okay. He's going to go revive it right now. I think it takes about 24 Amber. And I used all mine to get in the dungeons. And... It revived. All right, so as you can see, it's an Iridaridon. It's a level 140. That's how all of them spawn, I'm pretty sure. So let me just hit it a couple of times. Actually, I'm gonna go out. Oh no. Yep, all right, let's go out. Oh my gosh, it can fit out. This actually has a knockback attack a little bit, so I don't wanna get hit off. Uh, oh yeah, okay, thank you. I was gonna say, I hope he gets on this RG and gets the day done. So it didn't really go as planned. Can I hit it? No, I don't think it'll, I'll hit it if I shoot it. Um, I think I'll just get all my quests because it has a platform on it and try and shoot it from above. Or I can just go into the box. I might actually just go into the box. Is he shooting it? I don't know if it's hitting though. Oh, okay, he hit. Mine didn't go. Um, maybe over here. Oops. Oh, okay. Good thing you punched the wood, not the actual. Um, they it on. So I think we might just go in. Unless I can fly this. Oh well, he's going in. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna go in. I don't think I'll be able to hit it from above. Uh, let me just jump. There we go. Yes, yeah, so look, he's already in here. Oh, it looks like the date on might get knocked out pretty soon. I'm just gonna hit a couple of times. Don't want to ask the only hit. Oh, and it's down. So I have a soothing bomb, but I don't know if he has one. I might just use mine, but he has to put the food in it. it eat meat so i think he has to put um yeah like just regular meat oh prime meat okay i had two bombs but i think he already put his so yeah good job so he tamed it up it's going pretty quick i'm pretty sure it has a lot of food in it it's a little 140 i'll ride this one after so i can show you what it does but let's check its stats actually because it all of them start at 140, but their health and their stats are always different. That's what I've been noticing. So, if we go into the stats, we have 4,857 health, 575 stamina, 195 melee damage, and 520 weight. I don't know if this is good or bad, because I haven't had a data on before. And they're not on mobile until the recent update. So yeah, he actually got lucky because I had three implants as I showed you before, the two and the last one. So the way he got lucky is because he had to pick between one of those three and I didn't know which one it was. This is the highest one. The other one had 4,000 health and the last one I think only had 2,000. So he did have a lucky pick. And as you can see, he even said in the chat below, that's why I responded. But yeah, guys, so I'm just going to wait till this thing is done, then we'll write it. Um, and I'll see you in the next clip. And we're back. So this is actually a different day and on. As you can see, it's level 218. The reason for that is um, Omega couldn't unclaim his. So I couldn't write it. So this is actually my tribe mate. And we're just borrowing it for the video. So yeah. Um, I'm going to show you its abilities, its attacks, and how it looks like. So it actually looks pretty good. Um, as you can see with the eerie fur color which changes all the time. I actually like how they added that. The thing I like about the Daedon is the hairs. You can kind of see it sticking out. 
but the eyes aren't really that well. Look, I think they might have to fix that. But yeah, look at the hairs. You can like see them sticking out. But I don't know if other dinos have that. I haven't noticed. So let's get on him. And he actually runs pretty quickly. But I think that's just because of his movement speed. I think see, and he also jumps. All of them jump, of course. So they don't jump as far, but they still have that jumping ability like a saber or a wolf. So it's pretty good. Its main ability actually heals teammates. Its attack um, looks like a normal bite. Doesn't look anything special, really. I don't know the damage on it, though. But its main ability actually heals the dinos around them. So, I don't know what button it is. I think you swipe down. Oh, yeah, there you go. So, as you can see, your Daedon is consuming more food or extra food to heal your allies. So, it does heal um, other players, I think, but I know for sure it heals other dinos around the Daedon. So, yeah, it looks pretty cool. I like the design and I like how they add this one. I'm pretty sure they added another, another dino into the dungeon, which I'll talk about later in a different video. Which I'll go more in depth with the dungeon, its areas, the bosses, and how it's going to work in the future. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, make sure to like the video, and even subscribe to my channel if you want to. I have a Discord which you can talk to me or subscribers of my channel. A link of it will be in the description below. So guys, I hope you enjoyed again, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.